<laughs> that was a nice finish. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Fix My Game, presented by King's Kimonos. We're here at the Wolfing Academy with Tommy Langeker in Norway. Last time we did one of these, you were in the gi, but uh, let's kind of break out some of the Tommy Langeker no gi, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what's up. Yeah, of course. Cool.
<laughs> I'm gonna pay for that one. <laughs> It was a nice finish. <laughs> I, I feel like I've tried to base a lot of my guard off of your kind of like original the, the stuff the stuff you were doing mm. early on in your black belt um, and in your brown belt. But I feel like you were doing something not entirely different, but like brand new for what I think people expect to see from you. Um, yeah. I want to ask you kind of off the bat if there are any like quick adjustments you're looking at my game you can you can see like oh you're doing this wrong every time okay, uh, so that. the main main thing is that when i put pressure on you you yeah. panic so you you have you think you have to have a long frame so you, you extend yourself so as when i make pressure i want you to extend yourself to like react to my pressure instead of angling yourself out so say i was to put pressure on you like a lot of times I was doing standing here, and if you start extending, it's easy for me to start going here. Or like, if I put pressure, I can just, you see, immediately mm -hmm. I can shift your hip when you start pushing in towards me. And same as when I'm going low, and you, ex you if I manage to get tight, mm -hmm. you're still pretty far and I can still move myself. I like to keep myself at the mid range and never I fully hyper extend. So if you go to me, if I play golf, I usually play at this range. I never try to do this because and I never try to react to if you're putting pressure on me. I'm never doing this. You see, because now I'm disconnected and now you can start pushing through and making angles. And this is going to be the dead death. I have to use a lot of power to regain. The people that are good closing the distance. You see, I just play here using my frame, controlling the hands much more, trying to connect you to my, you see, trying to connect you to my legs much more. Now, I can easily start lifting you and so on. I guess, where are my frames when I'm staying tight? So, when you're staying tight, I like to keep them around here, this or here, but never never making anybody get too tight because now you have to push out. Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if they push me too tight, I just stay tight so I can't get any space on the inside because now if I make space, now you can do, right? But I don't want to make pushing off with somebody's too much here mm -hmm. because now if you push off, you see I can shift and start getting past your knee shields and getting tighter to your waist. So I would prefer to be at this mid-range using like the uh, underhook frame much more because now I can't, like Dante does, he does this one. Uh -huh. So you don't want to be pushing here anymore. So I like to be here. This is a good one, but be careful for the darces, right? Mm -hmm. We had that a few times. So you have to be careful here and I always open up flare like be loose i don't try to be too just i can't push this anymore in so just be using this one and there's a frame right so don't tense all everything just use it as a frame you see i still can't push too much if i start pushing too much here right now you can create an angle getting on the inside open guard is all about frame uh i like also to like catch something when i play golf Open guard is my second solution, just if so everybody breaks, but then catch on to something like or getting like a clamp on a leg, getting quarter guard, controlling something that I can, because now you have to be uh, uh, strip the grips, right? So I don't have to really think about the frame anymore. I can use this <laughs> to angle pretty easy. And now if you manage to strip this one, now you can start attacking the legs again, right? So now. You've been going into the matrix and so on. Cool. Um, so I actually want to get into that, like the kind of second layer there. I think it was the end of day one at Nogi Worlds, the back take you hit on uh, ah, yeah. your first the, match. My first match, yeah.
Yeah. So uh, this is the one I use quite a lot uh, during uh, during my matches. So I play the open guard here, and I flip it up because so, they want to put pressure because they're so tired of me keeping them at bay. Mm -hmm. So when I finally accept this position, like using this my knee shield down, they want to stay tight, real tight, mm -hmm. right? Because they want don't want to lose position. The only thing I have to be careful of is that I don't have they don't have underhooks. Then we have to go into different stuff, right? So I just I can stay here without being passed. I still have my frame on the outside, still have my hook on the outside on this side. So I'm still very safe. So what I was doing is I was just waiting. And when he was trying to di dive into me, I release, just keep the pressure going this way. I shoot my knee shield past, and I go, and I shoot my hip under, and I shift them to the side, going like this. And what happened is, they start attack, they either try to attack the foot, and when they attack the foot, I start getting up, right, like this. So if you go this way, no. if you fall to the side, right, they have the foot, they got the foot like this, I think, here, and then I just drop to my side, getting around, and from here, I just grab the head and just <laughs> go like this, whatever I take, just making the face turn away from my head, my, my feet, I mean because he's gonna try to stay tight. So I have to latch onto something, getting around. And from here, I managed to get my feet around. So as I'm here, I use a low knee shield because now you see, I, I can make pressure, but you're still safe. I still have to work this. So it always keep this one tight and this one tight. Just stay like a rock here, because I can't do anything. A lot of people, they bite into it like, ah, I'm winning now. I have a good position. I'm Almost passed. You shoot, shoot this one, and you shoot. You you try to shoot your hip under my hip. Yeah, you see. Yes. Now you shift hold my whole hip. You go to a single leg X type. Now I want to go here, dive for it. But then you take this one. You go. Yeah. You go to the side, and when I can either take my leg over. Yeah, you go here. Yeah. Yeah, you just pull my face. Yeah, because now we're gonna go like this, and here you don't have to be flexible. Right. Just make sure this one is hooking on the upside of my thigh, right? So I don't clear it. Even if I clear it, you're still in a good position. <laughs> See. Yeah. But this motion is the most important. Mm -hmm. Using this one, I shoot my hip all the way in there, yeah. and now when I I block the leg with this one and I shift. You see, yeah. I shoot them all the way to the opposite side. Get here, and now, especially if they stand, they get really aggressive towards it because they don't want to lose the position. And as I go, I continue, try to drop. And I was able to get here, drop down, try to take this. I get up, and I go around. Right, pull. From here, pull, and I pull them back, like a, like a twister, getting this. They spass out and I get it. <laughs> Can you show us your knee flexibility? I saw this video of you. Uh, <laughs> I just want to see it, honestly. Uh, we can take this, this one, this one. <laughs> that is insane, dude. <laughs> Good boy. Do people give up going three hooks yeah, on you? Can, you can do this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Corey. Try that. Yeah, let, yeah teach me how to do that. Okay. <laughs> 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 Stay tuned for the next episode of Fix My Game presented by King's Kimonos. See you later.